That's right, I've got Julio here, and I actually want to start with a, a conversation, I guess kind of close to what the desk was talking about. Warriors being back, and, and, and specifically being back in your lane, how are you feeling about having the Warriors back? Well, obviously I wasn't too comfortable with mages, I cannot practice them a lot, but I obviously feel more comfortable with Warriors. I don't know what I'll probably be playing today, maybe Tyr, only thing I can play. <laughs> I'm kind of washed as well, so I rather feel comfortable in lane. Well, there. Hey, you know what? At least we know what to expect, right? Everybody, every game, <laughs> we were guaranteed some, maybe some tier. That's actually the the thing that's interesting. Of course, you guys got a lot of more experience, I think, on not just land but over your competitive histories. So, best of fives aren't necessarily super uncommon, but it's been a little while since you've really had to play in one. Is there anything that you you see is different for this being a best of five versus like a best of three? I mean, I rather play best of fives. They're obviously more fun. You can like adjust better and I mean the last time I played a best of five I think it was like two years ago or maybe three so I don't know it would be kind of fun to play. And then the biggest thing I think right now is you're going up against the Ravens right a lot of people have looked at in this group it's essentially you guys and the Ravens that, that have had the talk about and so the real question is when you have a team as tough as them as an opponent how do you prepare for a match like this? You don't. You don't? Yeah um, we didn't prepare anything at all we just go in the booth and why are we picking? What are we manning? Like five <laughs> minutes earlier, and that's it. And you know what? Sometimes when you wing it, it works out really well. We'll have to see. Will it work out for Hex Mambo? That's the question of the day. Thanks for your time, man. Good luck in your games. We'll go back to the desk. Play up against Yoda Gladiators, and then Baba Yaga. Powerful this god is, and it really feels like can play a Willix with how many? Io. And we all. Oh, well, ow. Wow. The immediate was found out for for the Highland Ravens composition. Highland uh, on the side of Hex Mambo because it's only the one god that. Will when you look up, holding a near 70% with Guffles are going to be phenomenal. It was Trix who was playing it and absolutely rocking it. But in mid, you've already mentioned a lot of damage. That's all it takes right now. Scream's getting low. Scream taken down. Tries to turn it on to Johnny, but just can't Blood quite well. do it. The Yon's Wrath's going to get online oh, earlier. Rotation. Yep, Johnny's already heading over on the block from Hurrywind. Might be enough damage. Let's see if Johnny can go for it, but decides to go for Zap instead, who's got his dash. So should not be in any sort of trouble, but... The shield buff is the target. Look at this. Screams on the way over. He didn't even use that blink, so Wheelix might be able to get something going here. Yeah, Zap dashed in, beats Hughes from the pluck. He's taking a lot of damage. That's going to be another kill for Hex Lumbo, and they're looking for a little more hurry. Trying to escape. Will not get out of there. Johnny with the teleport. No Avoid way. Avoids some damage from Scream. He's chasing him down, but the what? pluck, the peel. Oh my god, Hex Mambo. They're yeah, starting. Yeah, yeah, no. All I'm saying, <laughs> Johnny got first blood. I won't say anything more. That's all I'm saying. But look at this. Hurry getting plucked back in, and lurking in the water is doing a a big deal for the slow. Can he make it out of here? Yeah, the damage is there. You need one more tick. No, the chains. But can they go for it? Vin, hurry, rotating in. It's going to be a 4v3, maybe 4v2. Rapia's kind of abandoned his teammates. Now it's going to be Zap five. Here too. has rotated in. The Ravens have everybody up onto the powwow for Johnny, and he's going to look for the pull, but they need a little help. They need someone. Julio is going to fall down, and now the chase is on Johnny. Should be taken down. Zap will pick that right, one this up. Thought. You get one set of beads, and that could be very dangerous. Oh, Julio pulled back in by Scream. Uses the ult to try and disengage, but Haddix is looking for the chase down. Goes in. Doesn't quite have the distance. A small reason to gank mid, but speaking of, Julio, oh, man. remember, that Lawbringer's down. As long as he doesn't get hit by a Tiger stun, he'll be fine. It looks like Haddix is a little bit too far away, so I don't imagine anything else comes from this. And turns and around just the teleport as well. Speaking of, Ravens go in for the gold. Fury. Rapio's nearby. But Ven does have that final judgment as the confirmation. Well, we've seen confirmation not be great enough. This time it gets the job done. Consciously though. decides, much like right now, he's rocking into mid lane. Beacon's already almost captured by the Ravens. You need a numbers advantage if you're going to be Hex Mamba to try and take this. Johnny getting isolated. Scream sees him up onto the powwow for Johnny. And he's looking for the pullback. Won't find anybody. Haddix into the somersault cloud. Beacon goes the way over towards the Ravens. And now Hex Mamba. Yo was have here him. on time despite not having that teleport. Use the Lawbringer trying to steal the blue. Didn't end up getting it though. You could tell Haddock is like, I'm going to steal this one from you. But with the Fearless, does <laughs> get in the gift, gives him the laugh back. He actually went for it. But, like, I got to admire it. He kept true to his word. Now he's got to keep true to his lane. Good knock up, good pullback from Scream, but maybe used on the wrong target. Johnny's come in. Has the powwow, but isn't going to use it. Fearless Haddix oh, pushes under him, and he's like, what? <laughs> this is chess, man. Why'd yeah, you flips the chessboard over, yeah, like, kicks him while he's on the ground. Why'd you do any of that? His buddy was probably asking the same question. Yeah, he's been flipped over the chessboard. Didn't get kicked on the ground, though. Stays alive, but that is going to be a, a small knockout. He's going to be sent back to the base. 
And maybe in a body bag if they can find it. No, a good ult from Spuddy will get them out of their scream. Overcommits to it, and the damage is there. But Johnny Low up onto the powwow needs a safe avenue to get out of here, but just does not seem to have one. Uses the blink to create some distance, but Finn specializes in distance. Fury gets the kill. Julio's got the big flank, though, as the Fury gets low. Doesn't look like he's going to make it here in time, so Oni Fury should go the way of the Ravens. As it does, Kha'Zix gets smacked in the face with final judgment as Julio blinks in. Now you got to be careful. Buddy, he's come back. Buddy on the other side of the map. It's going to be a 4v5 at best, and Julio's nowhere to be seen either. Pyro already one third HP. Yeah, it's going to be smooth, Cut easy. Out. Zap spots him, screams over on that side of the map, and you're going to need to be responsive if you're Hex Mambo. Your jungler's going to take a lot, half of his health already. Turns around on the Zap, tries to get it up, done, but can't quite find the final blow. Instead, it's the Powlow. Not going to have the massive pull that you're looking for. Only hurry when brought back in, but he's low, and he's gone. But it's gone. a delete button from Finn. Oh, my God, straight down the middle. And exactly what he needs keeps it one for one. In but fact, finds the Ravens have the gold lead. Just a little over 2,000. They're going to try to push it even further. They're on the gold fury. It's going to be a simple pickup for them. The Pyromancer goes the other direction. So objective for objective, the small neutrals off the board. And just Fire Giant left standing. But now they want a little more. Beads forced in mid as Julio goes for the field. What a great shot from Vin. It's not going to get the kill. The Hex Mambo, but I'm curious how many auto attacks Scream actually gets off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay attention. I'm going to see how much value this Kins actually gets. Well, so far, zero. Yep. Uh, so that one's e that, real easy to count, and that engagement real easy to keep up with, and might actually end up having a trade around. Damage is good for Johnny. You don't want a 1v1, the dodge he's back in late. 20, and remember, he's got Suku. He can show up quickly if he needs to. There it is. The pull has begun. You got to be worried, Finn. Still has the ultimate, but look at Julio. Julio immediately going for him. Beats Beats used again, and that's going to be a massive dashed. opening. Watch Johnny blink forward, trying to close the gap. Gets in there. You need a little bit more damage, but you're going to have an alternate timeline. Gets proc, and now you're looking for the pull in with the pal out. Zap the died? carries are all gone. The Ravens taken down systematically, and now the chase from Hex Mambo. It's not even necessary. They get Haddix into the sky. They pull his ult, and they fall back. Fire Giant should be a wide open pit for him. Zap had the airstrike. He just wasn't able to get up into the ultimate scream is back he's gonna try and deal with titans in mid but fire giant that's the target here for mambo it doesn't seem like hurry win it doesn't seem like had can step up but they are here they're gonna go in for a low stake steal i guess not much burst from hurry it's all on the haddocks but he goes back they're not gonna go for it, gore the fire giant is done and hex mambo pick executed. it up on five. and specifically before scream gets back and doubly so you get relics off the carries off mid i mean julio and now, back up for Zapman as well. Aegis comes through. You're just missing the alternate timeline, so Venenu has to still be careful. And they're going to concede that Tier 2, make a defense at the tower line. Tier 2 in left and in mid goes Mambo. Down. We're going to pull that. They're shredding it, so that's an easy secure. Let's see the Raven step up to this, or is it... Pause, hold, wait for fire. I want to see what Julio's doing. He's hiding in the back line. He's waiting to see if he can find the beats. And look at this Ven. None the wiser at the moment. They drop the Oni Fury, but a constant pull back in. Yeah, Zap pulls the Raven back over for the Fury back over. Picks there it up is. for the Ravens. Now you've got Julio coming to the back. Gets the beads. Damage is there. Hurry. Goes for the pull. Finds Julio. Johnny goes into the back. No pal out just yet. No chase down for him to really make things happen. The carries. Get the distance done, but look at this loop around. I mean, Vin still in an awkward spot. Might have to use the dash and will to get away. But it is Razor going to be. So you can tell the Highland Ravens know exactly what's going on. Can they even get here in time? It looks like Zapman's going to be the first one in the fight, and Johnny not there quite yet either. But Julio's already on zone duty, and Haddock's in the back line. Haddock is going to walk in as Hex Mambo take this. Let's listen in as they try to secure the fire. Let me know. Nice. I have my ult. We're going ult. We're going ult. I have boys. What? I will it. I will it. I will it. I will it. I'm one, I'm one. Roll two. Come dash, come dash. Lux is one. Lux is one. Play left, let's play left foot. No base, no base, Johnny. Play left, Johnny, kick on your own, Johnny. Last time line on top. Nice, Johnny. Nice! I will just push him mid. He's low, those both. Shoot back. So close. So you get the fire, you lose four, you gain two, you force Scream into an awkward spot, but he actually gets a tier two, and if, if he's really brave, he could go for another one here. Uh, Trelly, it feels like we just kind of moved the goalposts for everybody uh, forward a little bit. Hex Mambo. Well, they're right here, and they're not going to be Which able to do So it. much auto attack damage, the Phalanx buffing his minions, and Haddix is teleporting over. To try and help out or just to make sure he gets out. Hex Mambo, a Phoenix, all of them are exposed now. It becomes a different conversation. Hurry, blink forward. 
as Kha'Zix. Vin charging up the shot. Going to cancel that one out, not go for it. Instead, Hurry looking Whoa. for the pull. Vin shoots, but he's wide. Instead, it's up onto the pal out for Johnny. Hurry already down. Beads get forced out from both Zap and Vin. And Zap is not able to escape. Chased down, killed off. Julio is coming up big in this fight, and so is the rest of the Hex Mambo. Three on the Ravens, gone. And they might be looking for four Haddocks onto the Somersault Cloud. Tries to escape, but Julio has his number. Calls off the chase because they've got a bigger target in mind and that target is the Enhanced Fire Giant, which might just lead them into the most advantageous position we have seen so far this game. I mean, if you're able to kill three for nothing, that is, yeah, the best fight you could have asked for, Ben. It looks like he tried to cancel the ultimate, or at the last second saw Johnny in his point of view and just tried to flick towards him. It didn't end up connecting, and then it was just curtains for the rest of the team fight. Can this is what win? I was talking about. Final judgment, so important. Hurry up in 15, zap in 20. They're at least going to break the base, but Ven's going to have to put on a show here to try to keep everyone back. This is going to be the question. How aggressive do they play? Do they break all three Phoenixes? Do they go for the Titan? Four seconds for Hurry. Nine for Zap. Damage is going to be here, but Ven is there. Doesn't hit anybody now. The DPS on the Titan. It just seems to be a little too much. Ven trying to do what he can, and they're finding the kills one step at a time, but it's not enough to save this game. Hex Mambo, strike first. And that was a great early play from Hex Mambo as well. It was a little bit dropped though. Remember, they were able to get first blood. Johnny was influencing the map. I think it was in this game with Cosmos. But even.